More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honey. Amen. Praise God. We are back for our second uh, <laughs> session, the Holy Ghost Forum in Harrisburg. We're here every uh, fourth Friday of the month. This is August, and uh, we'll be here next month as well. We're also in uh, in Pittsburgh, the second Tuesday of the month, and this is a live feed. You can also find us on Facebook. You can find us on uh, YouTube. Uh, so praise God! Just man, I have really enjoyed some of the things we've been talking about. We've been talking about boldness, mm. talking about our authority in God, and what. Well, I would say our just, responsibility. Yeah, yeah, our responsibility, and and just normal people. You know, you don't have to be somebody big, somebody great. Uh, you just you just decide that you're going to stand up for what's right, exactly, and defy uh, what's evil, and be bold in your faith. And, and God can do amazing things. And that's the, the I believe that's the the purpose and the ministry. Uh, of the Holy Spirit yeah. is to empower us. He, Jesus told the disciples and the apostles, he, the, he said, do not leave Jerusalem. Yeah. He knew. He said, do not attempt to leave. Yes, you have a lot. Yeah. Yes, you have received from me, but do not leave Jerusalem until you are endured with power yeah. from on high. Amen. And, uh, and when you do, and then Acts 1, he said, uh, you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost have come upon you, then you'll be my witnesses. In other words, you have boldness and the power to back it up. Yeah. And, and that's the only way. we got to walk into that authority that we have, the dominion we have, the anointing we have, and utilize the ministry of the Holy Spirit instead of being coward and afraid yeah. to execute our assignment. And that, responsibility. that is the key factor. That's the thing that makes a difference. And you, you study uh, John 20 and 21 where the disciples had followed Jesus to the cross. They'd followed him to the grave. They'd found out the grave was empty. Uh, but at that time, um, the authorities that were, uh, the powers that be, uh, they killed Jesus. And they thought they were, you know, as far as they knew, they were headed after the mm -hmm. 12 as well. And uh, they were hiding behind closed doors, locked doors. <laughs> the Bible says they were locked, I, I think. Locked. Don't they yeah. say they were locked? And uh, uh, the doors were closed. Jesus appeared, and, and uh, he commissioned them to take the gospel. Uh, but at the time, they were nothing but just flopping failures. Mm. They, they just were... Not gonna. In fact, uh, their decision was. Uh, Peter looked around at the other disciples and says, "I'm going fishing," and their response wasn't, "Oh, wait a minute! Remember what Jesus said?" They didn't say any of that. <laughs> he said, "We're going with you." <laughs> where's the boat? <laughs> yeah, where's the boat? Let's get a, Let's go. But, he, he had influence, that yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what the Bible says in the book of Mark. Uh, Jesus came and upbraided them. That's what the King James says. In other words, he scolded them. Probably really. <laughs> Gave them a good tongue lesson right. and uh, upbraided them for their hardness of heart and their unbelief. Wow. And then he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. He said, but before you do any of that, tear you here in Jerusalem until, until you're being due to powerful on high. And that's what made the difference. Exactly. You, you got these men hiding behind closed doors, hiding out from the authorities. You take them from there. Uh, to Acts chapter 2 where they're preaching on the street, yeah. on the street yeah. and defying the authorities and full of the Holy Ghost and power. So so you're right, the, one of the greatest keys to boldness and one of the keys to uh, victory in fulfilling God's purpose and plan uh, is being filled with the Holy Ghost. The, oh, how can we do the ministry? Jesus did not even attempt to do anything to be, yeah. he was not commissioned to, to do anything until he, he sure. said the spirit of the Lord is upon. Him, until he was baptized and the spirit of God came upon him, and he yeah. said the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has 
annoyed at me. me. How how we think we're gonna get the job done without the help and the power of the Holy Spirit? Yeah, yeah. You get, we we gotta add the Holy Ghost. <laughs> we, we we see three churches in in the Book of Acts. We have the Church at Jerusalem, Church at Antioch, and then we have the Church at Ephesus. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jerusalem Church. What happened? Baptism of the Holy Spirit. Filled with the Spirit, people got it. They were out in the streets. I think we're going to see this again. It's happening right now. Yeah. now fresh yeah. outpouring of the Spirit of God. Yeah. Eat us out, out in the streets. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> then you see the church at, uh, at Andac where they were first called believers. So there was a disciples who they took place. Yeah. And then we see the church at Ephesus later on where you see the, the equipping of the saints. Mm. You know, Ephesians is all about it. Yeah. The equipping. You yeah. Know, and then taking this gospel to all the world. So I, I think God's, there's a, it's happening again. Yeah. Mm, yes. Amen. Yes. Something about. It. We we, so, we, <coughs> we, see, we, claim, we claim that and receive Amen. that. <coughs> so, so, excuse me. Say that again, Pastor Dave. Uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. The was baptism of the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the, the Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Church of Anak. They would call first called Christians. Or so that's discipleship. Discipling. Oh. Yeah. Then the Ephesian was the equipping of the was the equipping the, the armor of God and taking this message to all the world. Yeah. So are we going to? Are we? Uh, do you sense like all is coming together as one instead of uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, together like uh, like the latter and the former together? together. Yeah, yeah. Because we have both the outpouring yeah. in the street right. and then the discipling and then yeah. the equipping to go right. and take the gospel. What we've been talking about. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And I uh, took the book of Acts years. That was years. But it's, things are speeded up here at this time. Exactly. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think by the time the church in Jerusalem, it was, was it 10 or 20 years, wasn't it, before they actually had persecution or yeah, scattered yeah. to some other places? And whenever there was a persecution, that's when the church grew. It's like uh, we are <laughs> praying against things, uh, maybe against our, the manifestation of our prayers sometimes. We have, everybody has been praying the last, at least the last 20 years and intensely. 20, 25 years, revival, 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 Lord, revival. And then God, here this a moment of the display to really happen now. Yeah. That's why the devil is saying, shut it down. Yeah. He doesn't want the preaching of the gospel. <laughs> Mask, no crowds. Yeah. Because yeah. he knew the right. church would take advantage and get tents filled up again. Yeah. Yeah. Signs and wonders. Yeah. So he yeah. said, Close it. Yeah. He's doing his best, but I think it'll work. Open Walmart. Open the Walmart. Uh, the Home Depot. Yeah. But the church, close it down. Abortion uh, clinics. I mean, what is <laughs> what, what is more uh, uh, significant or uh, what's what's the word? Kind of like a, um, a sign or an, um, what do you call it? Uh, but, symbolism. Uh, yeah. What greater symbolism could you have of putting a mask over yeah. Society to say keep quiet and don't and you, and say. You, you know when you talk with someone with a mask, it's hard to understand. Them. It is. I <laughs> I've <laughs> been in stores and I. <laughs> what you say? That, that'll be fifty five <laughs> yeah. It's really really hard, and because uh, uh, I yeah. told I told someone I said because uh, you have to have a mask to go to the store, <laughs> and uh, and I said man, my greatest is see might each everybody have their own tools. I don't know what is your thing or my my thing is smile. Yeah, and I, and everybody knows me for smiling. I, I express myself through a smile and yeah. and, and, and just a, that's your glory. That yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then uh, my smile is gone under the mask, and I, I don't even like lo looking myself in a mirror with a mask on. Yeah, you know, I, I just picture <laughs> the devil laughing what he's done to the church. Yeah, the whole mask thing, just in humanity himself, making all these people creating God's image wearing masks. Yeah. Sad. We've been duped by the devil. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, pre the president really refused this thing about he just he doesn't like just having pictures taken of the mask on. Yeah. It's just crazy that we'll accept this, at least in the spirit, push. Just push back in the realm push of the back. spirit. And really that's how I feel about it. Yeah. Uh that uh safety thing aside, this is a a personal affront to my humanity you know I mean this is who I am what I express on my face and and uh, 
It's important to me. There was a time it was illegal to put a mask. In a bank. They would arrest you. They were always there so upside yeah. down. They don't they know. They were always asking me now, just pull your mask when you go to, you know, to show your ID. Yeah. Pull your mask down. See, yeah. they know it's wrong. Yeah. It's not the right thing to do. So they have to pull. You have to pull down and they see, you know, oh, that's you. Yeah. Yeah, that means you have people walking around. They are just covering themselves. You never know, even on the surveillance, how you going to know who has committed the crime. Right. They, they have some masks are, are terrible masks. <laughs> They're real like bandit masks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Black. Part of the whole face. <laughs> yeah. Only eyes on. I like, know. Wow. I know. I saw one thing on Facebook. I had a, a Muslim lady who face cover they said they're preparing us for that <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah because well, someone is saying that uh, they, they were saying a politician that this thing uh, not politician this um uh, who's this guy that uh, does the, this coronavirus the the health guy you know um, Fauci. The, uh, that this won't end until maybe two three years yeah yeah or, right. or it may never end yeah uh, uh, you are, are you preparing us in our mind that yeah, when it start are. coming to say now five years mass? That's right. Yeah. And uh, so we got to get, Holy Spirit, what are you saying to our generation yeah. now? Yeah. You know, we got to see the demonstration. Maybe some of these folks, may as they get saved, the yeah. power of God hit them and they, they begin to repent. Forgive us. Forgive me for doing this. Yeah. And you know, faith is such a powerful force. But uh, when you think of uh, the opposite of faith, people often think that, well, doubt and unbelief, which in one sense, I suppose. But, but the greatest opposite of faith is fear. Yeah. And uh, you got people so fearful. I have never seen, Pastor Dave, just in general society, so much fear, fear uh, laid out over what I think is the common cold. Right. And I'm 60 years old this year. You're a few years older and you're uh, probably a few years mm -hmm. younger. Yeah. Uh, but I look at 70-year-olds and things walking around with these masks on and I'm thinking, uh, you've lived your life for 70 years without a mask and now all of a sudden you need a mask to survive? Well, Hebrews talks about it, through fear of death all yeah. the time. It's, people are afraid of dying. Yeah, and this is such <laughs> a, I guess, in your face, yeah. uh, just evident way of seeing people's fear come yeah. to the surface. My favorite thing is whole, a young couple in a convertible with masks on. <laughs> I saw. Did I you could, really see yeah. that? I couldn't believe. It. I want to take a picture of it. Uh, you talk. That's the epitome of fear. Oh my Ride goodness! Down the road with the yeah, we saw one person, <laughs> a lady <laughs> driving a car by herself. By yeah, yeah. She's wearing a mask. Yeah, by herself. Yeah. That's Maybe fear. some people also. There's uh, something that, that some words have been going out there that that um, yeah. either a conspiracy, whatever that that it's in the air. Yeah. So so people are so afraid that it may be, you know. It's not that trans. It's not a that kind of a disease. They say it's, it's more of an on surface. Thing. Yeah. It's not a. It's tra not transmitted through the air. Basically. And then I actually, Pastor <laughs> Dave, I just heard or saw something on the internet that says it doesn't transfer very well on yeah. surfaces either. So it's uh, it, it's just if you're information healthy, back and yeah, forth. Yeah, I don't know. It's so, demonic. It's demonic. It is. It's just it's fear. It's we fear. Someone said, yeah. "How comes the Amish don't aren't affected by it?" They have on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we, they really hadn't been impacted by the COVID. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Amish we, community. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. And that's something. Father, we break yeah. this spirit. It's this a spirit, of fear. Yeah. This spirit of fear over Think our nation. In the name we of Jesus. We break this spirit of fear over the nations the, of the yes, world. We come name. against any Jesus demonic name. force. Yeah. Every yeah. spirit yeah. and yeah. principality yeah. and power yeah. and uh, and the demon behind this coronavirus uh, fear and and the promoting of this thing, the and uh, we, we cut it off Jesus. in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. We rebuke you, Satan. You have no authority of this generation. You will, not, uh, you will not be released yes. in our generation to deceive, yeah. to deceive many. We refuse yes. you the right to deceive name. us and our generation in the name of the Lord yeah, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name.
Yes. Thank you, Father. Amen. Yeah. Expose those works of darkness. Yes. 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 And whoever is behind this thing, as we have prayed before, yes, whoever Jesus. is behind it, that's the, 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 the agenda, whoever is pushing this, Lord, you know exactly how to do it. You know how to expose this right. and Jesus. bring it to, the, yes. to, 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 to everyone you, to see it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Father, yes. expose it. Yes. Expose if people behind Jesus. it, agendas behind it, nations behind it, systems behind it, we re, we. we we pray the yes, exposure Jesus. of this openly yes, in yes. the name of yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus. And Father, we thank you that we are free to preach the gospel. We yes, are bold. Jesus. We are strong. And Father, we thank you in this hour the word of the Lord will go forth unhindered yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And we yes. claim and we Jesus. thank you again for miracles for signs and wonders, for deliverances. Thank you for people accepting the Lord you, by the millions yes. around the world. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And Father, we are expecting that. And we thank you for Jesus. the great harvest that, that we are in right now yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. Stir up an, a, you, the, the heart of your church, Father. Stir them. Let vision, yes. dreams, and stirring in their spirit, yes, Father. Yes. Revive your church to see what you're doing in this hour. Instead of being thank out you, there, being bound with fear, Father yes. God, we should be filled right now. We are filled with expectation yes, Jesus in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Thank we you, Lord. Thanks, Lord. Thank you, Father, yes. for the spirit of boldness. Yes, Thank Father. you, Lord, yes. for that Acts 4 prayer. Thank we you, receive, Father. Stretch forth your hand to yes. do mighty signs yes. and yes, wonders. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. And Lord, add to the church daily such as yes. should be saved. Yes, Father. Father. We, we thank you, Lord. Yes. We agree together thank you, Father. as touching these things. Lord, you said where two or more are gathered in my name. Yes. There are you in the midst. And Lord, we thank you that you're yes, right Lord here Jesus. in the midst of us. Thank you, Father. Thank and you, Lord, Lord, we agree together yes, Father, for God. these things with which mm. we prayed for. Thank yes. You, thank you for them, Lord. We decree and declare them yes, as ours. Yes, Lord. We Jesus. declare them done yes, Father. in the thank name you. of Jesus. And we'll be Jesus. in the middle yes. of your will yes. in this earth. That we would stand perfect and complete in yes. all the will thank of God you. in these yes, last thank days. You. Yes, Father. To God. see fruit come forth. Mm. To see salvations, healings, and deliverances, Father God. We see the book of Acts come to life yes, in our lives, in Jesus' name. And, mm. and our generation, Thank Lord, you, Lord, not just us, Lord, but this generation, Lord, Thank you, Lord. we expect good yes, things. Father. Amen. Yeah. We agree together. And we, we prophesy, and we prophesy a new, a, a new fresh wind of the Holy yes. Spirit yes. throughout yes. America and throughout mm. the world and Thank throughout you. our region where we, you, we are planted. In the name of Jesus, we Thank prophesy you, a new move of the Holy Spirit uh, sweeping you, across and, and raising up people to, you, to be a voice of God in this hour. Yes. In the name of Jesus, uh, we prophesy new wine just coming in and refreshing the body of Christ and stirring up yes, in, yes. A, a, in a new way. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank, thank you. you. Jesus is coming soon. And therefore, Father, you want this gospel of the thank kingdom you, yes. preached to all mankind everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, we thank you that you have allowed us to stay, to be here at this hour. And therefore, Father, we take our place. We yes, take Lord. our position. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not be thank found you. asleep. Father, yes. we'll be, we will be found Occupying yes. until yes. you come. Occupy. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Occupying, Amen. Father. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yeah, pa praise God. I, uh, praise. Man, uh, this is a powerful session. You know, those of you that are watching, anyone watching, you, you got to realize this is, I mean, mm -hmm. I can sense the power of God yes. in this place. And, and, uh, I trust you can feel what we're feeling because God is, God is doing amazing things. And Pastor Dave, share that prophecy you had, what the Lord spoke to you a few weeks ago or uh, however long. Yeah, it was about three, four weeks ago, three weeks maybe ago. Uh, Brother Jonathan is here. He's a pastor from New Jersey, and I was just sitting in a congregation and just hearing what he's saying. But that, while he's preaching, I heard the word the Lord said to me, it has begun. Mm. It has begun. Yeah. It was so loud and clear. It was one of those several times in my life in ministry I've heard that that kind of a voice, yeah. you know, mm. <laughs> almost like an audible yeah. voice. Yeah, I wasn't just... something I just dreaming up or thinking about. Mm. It just yeah. it has begun, and so I've been saying, God, well, what has begun? And the Lord's been unfolding that in the last month here about some things that are happening. One of the things is this revival is 
has come. Mm -hmm. Things are changing in the yeah. spirit. Amen. Uh, there was a, a prophecy wow. just recently that uh, God's going to move across America. It's moving across America now mm. like a tsunami. Whoa. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is going to hit our country like a tsunami. Wow. Yeah. Praise uh, God. That excites me. You know, I, and uh, I, I keep saying this stuff, and I think, I sort of know how Noah must have felt when he's saying there's a flood coming. Nobody yeah. believed him. Yeah. This, this is happening. It's going to happen. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah, amen. But that's a good analogy yeah. or a good comparison yeah. because he waited. Yeah. And he waited, <laughs> and it seemed like, well, it's like Peter said. And you suddenly know, it started to rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, as you're saying, Pastor uh, Adeo, I feel like uh, when, when a prophecy came through Jesus, because that was a commandment, the Bible says in Acts chapter 1, by the Spirit, mm -hmm. he said, uh, you shall receive power. That was a prophetic word. Mm. And then the next thing what they did, in verse 12, after he, he was received, the Father, they went to the upper room. They went to pray. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says they continued in yeah. prayer. Yeah. Yeah. They continued. There is something about continuing. They Continue. kept, yeah. you know. And uh, we say prayer, sometimes we focus on prayer. Yes, you know, we need to pray. But there is this continuing yeah. Yeah. that pushes and pushes when I, I, I and in teaching along those lines I've often said this I said God never said to pray and forget mm. he said to pray and believe mm. and there is an act an aspect of believing a, that continues yeah, yeah, yeah. it's an active thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so we got to be in this continuing uh, because if he say has begun and uh, then in the prophetic word that came I think then we have to, based on the pattern, we got to get now into the presence of God to birth it yeah. in the spirit. Mm. To, to uh, prayer like you, <clears throat> the word came to, to keep birthing because uh, we're yeah. going to see more prayer groups and the real intense, yeah. not these are, uh, oh, let's pray, get together, have coffee and all that stuff. And uh, I, I mean, the intense, we, we want it and we receive it now. Yeah, for for probably more than a decade now, um, almost two decades, uh, my daughter went out to an internship in Kansas City with uh, with Mike Bickle, and you know there's been some controversy around. And to be honest with you, there's controversy around any ministry Everywhere. that's doing anything. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're accomplishing something, <laughs> the devil's going to make sure someone sees something wrong with it. But his emphasis has been on prayer, yeah. you know, and I think it's great emphasis. And one thing that he's brought to light is throughout history, and I was able to pull out a, uh, a CD of, of this. I ought to get it to you. It's a powerful because mm. he goes through the history of prayer meetings, and some of them were a hundred lasted a hundred years, you know, in the past, and uh, and we're not talking about like a once a week prayer meeting on Wednesday night I'm talking about where people Christians got together 24 7 and just prayed and, and prayed around the clock so uh, but one thing that impressed me even back at that time when my daughter got involved was early uh, 2003 2004 somewhere along then uh, but uh, I, I really felt it's a powerful thing it's something God wants and and still wants to do in these days is lay this foundation of prayer and if you look at the book of acts you could look at it in in this way that it's simply a book of prayers a book of prayer and their answers you know it's like they started out praying in acts chapter one mm -hmm. and then you see the spirit word out in acts chapter two acts chapter three, three they're at preaching. the beginning and then you see the miracles yeah, yeah. Acts chapter four, they're praying, and, and then, then Acts, uh, Acts chapter five, they're seeing you know multitudes added to the church again. Chapter six, there was that challenge in the church. They said we cannot leave the word of God and serve tables. They said we're going to commit to the prayer and the ministry. Prayer of the word. and the ministry and of the then word. Then verse seven, <laughs> the word of God grew. They spread throughout yeah, yeah. Jerusalem. Even the priests were obedient to the faith. Yeah. So what? Whatever. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. What? Whatever point we get to in in 
this process and this thing that God's doing, prayer is always going to be a part of it. Uh, it's just planting seed and yeah. receiving a harvest. Planting yeah. seed. And but God collects our prayers that come before as, yeah. as an incense. Yeah, and absolutely. And we see that. Yeah, there's vials, vials these golden and, vials. And they get full. Then mm. get, yeah, then the answer comes. we got to do something about this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. These people are serious about this. Now, yeah. recently we've been really, uh, the Lord has been really dealing, the last probably three months, intensely, even though we've done before, the importance, the Holy Spirit has been emphasizing and we've been talking about more, uh, more and more and more, the importance of praying in the spirit. Yeah. Oh, praying yeah. in t it's not just prayer. Sometimes we say prayer. Not all prayer is prayer. Right. Yeah. You know, some prayers, things we call prayer, God may not be even thinking is prayer. <laughs> so it may be talk. But praying in the spirit, it's praying in tongues and interceding in the spirit and, and allowing the spirit of God to birth things by using the heavenly language and and praying and, and, and we can pray even for hours it's hard to pray in our own language for an hour for an hour Five minutes is for me. i don't know <laughs> i uh, i don't I, i've not met people who someone who can pray there yeah. you know instead of you just we keep saying oh god oh yeah, god yeah. because all the words are gone <laughs> but uh, praying in the spirit releasing those it's mysteries. It's such a tool. We, don't, we haven't used it like we should to. Yeah. yeah. And, and who yeah. said, there's someone who told you, say, the, ho the praying in tongues, so this apostle mentioned, I'm sure others, uh, even Australia used to go out there, he said a praying, he used to encourage a pray in tongues. Wake up early in the morning. Just pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues. He said praying in the spirit, praying in tongues, it uh, is an open door, the doorway into the miracles. Yeah. He said we have not seen, we, Christians have not even done even 10% yeah. of praying in tongues. Yeah. We, we pray in tongues when we're happy, yeah. and we woo, and pray in tongues when we're sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly but right. But not intentional yeah. to accomplish something yeah. with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Um, I was trying to find this fellow that was on Sid Roth this week. Um, mm. I'm trying to think of his name. It, it'd be someone. Well, maybe I can find it. Uh, is that like uh, they sent Zedai, me Zedai, or something? Is that him? Yeah, yeah. Zedai, that's who I I'm, think. That's who I'm thinking. Yeah, of. my wife told me on um, that uh, that guy who went to heaven. Yeah, someone sent me a um, a CD of his, and uh, I'm trying to think of who even sent it to me. I wanted to get his name just to be able to share it online here. Um, let me see if that's a, a lady that, uh, not her. Um, yeah, it began with a Z. Is that Zedekiah? Zedekiah. Zedekiah. He goes to um, Jesse Duplantis Church. But uh, yeah, I know you mean, yeah. You, you know, yeah. he went to heaven, yeah, and uh, he shares about uh, his experience here, yeah, Zidai, Zidai, or something. Um, okay, um, I don't know how to spell it, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of a funny, funny name, but I wanted to bring uh, your attention to it. Oh, I know who sent it to me, um. Sent via text here. Kevin, Kevin Zadai. Kevin Zadai. Kevin, yeah. Kevin, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I really, I haven't. Yeah, a lady sent me this. Much, um, but. There's a guy, Kevin. Kevin Zadai, recently had a five-hour encounter with Jesus in heaven. The reason I mentioned him mm -hmm. was because in this encounter, uh, he mentioned how important it is to pray in the Spirit and not just you know 10 minutes yeah and, and now i lay me down to sleep but spending hours you know just yeah. praying in the spirit and, and the beauty of uh, the beauty of praying in tongues is the fact that you can do it anywhere at any time hmm. i mean it's very seldom that i don't shut my light off and lay my head on my pillow 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 Pillow. <laughs> my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> my pillow. My pillow. Yeah. And that's another endorsement for the my pillow, man. I need uh, 
Probably I need to give me. I, I need. I need a comfortable pillow. Someone, I don't know if who it's good told me like, they got one. Is nice. it good? I like it. Yeah, yeah someone got one of those pillows. He says the best thing he ever oh, got. I need to get me my pillow. Yeah, and then <laughs> then the sheets that go along. I think he sells sheets yeah. too. He says he got the greatest sheets. I got a mattress too, and I did on one of the beds. Something. Oh, for my pillow. I like it. So I didn't. I, never I tried didn't. It, I, you know, I don't believe some <laughs> stuff. Uh, some things like so maybe this guy is, is right I, I was thinking he's a Christian guy so yeah. so finishing my some story Christian, Christian I lay guy, my head you know. on my pillow <laughs> turn, the, turn the lights out and almost inevitably my tongue starts rolling praying in the spirit I find myself just doing it wow. yeah that's what I'm saying the beauty of praying in tongues is you can do it's, it anytime. Because it says we don't know how to pray we are, as we are and yeah. you keep our yeah. spirit a lot yeah. and sharp yeah. And the one thing, you know, when, when I've read over the years, but one time, not too long ago, I was reading, he said, he who speaks in a known tongue, he speaks not to man, but to God. Oh. He, I'll be in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Mysteries. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Divine secrets. Yeah. Yeah. That is Powerful. one of the greatest. And yeah. Paul, the apostle, who did the greatest miracles? Mm. He did the great. He said, "I pray in tongues more, more than, than you all combined." <sighs> and if wow. if it was awesome for Paul, who accomplished so much, and he yeah. is letting us in in the secret yeah. of why he got where he got, yeah. why why aren't we doing it? <laughs> yeah, and well, that's all passed away, hadn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he makes it so easy, though. Yes. It's so it's so simple. It's, uh, and I like what uh, Smith Wigglesworth said one time. Someone asked him, well, Brother Wigglesworth, how long do you pray? He says, I never pray more than 10 minutes. And he said, but I never go 10 minutes without prayer. So, <laughs> I believe, so essentially yeah, he prayed all day long. I believe it? Jesus prayed in the spirit all the time. Yeah, yeah. I think he prayed in the That's why yeah, he was yeah. able to pray all night long yeah. with the Father and the mountain, yeah. whatever, yeah. praying in the spirit. Yeah. Actually, our Savior... Our Lord, yeah. I, I, yeah, the head of the church, yeah. he prayed yeah. in the spirit all the time. Yeah. And that's why he was able to see the visions. He said, I yeah. only do those things that me. I see my father do. Yeah. So if the, Jesus prayed in the spirit, the, and then he groaned in the spirit, yeah. you know, that he groaning, groaned, yeah, yeah. he was praying in the spirit. There was a, the spirit. And he says, then he said later, thank you, Father, thou hast heard me. Yes. Mm. That, because uh, he yeah. was so it, it, this thing here, we, uh, brothers and sisters, those of you who are listening, watching, I don't know when you're watching, yeah, praying in tongues, oh, yeah. praying in the spirit. Don't let the devil just cause because of this denomination that this has nothing to do with any of that. Paul the apostle said, I pray in the mm. spirit in tongues more than you all. Yeah. And uh, he said, when we pray in the spirit, we build, we edify ourselves. In uh, Jude, he said, uh, he said, building, uh, building ourselves in the most holy faith, praying in the Spirit. It's in the Bible, everywhere. Peter was filled with the Spirit. He prayed in tongues. Look at the miracles that happened. Yeah. Philip, the, uh, Philip the evangelist, look at all these miracles. They prayed in the Spirit always. They allowed the Holy Spirit to pray through them the will of God. And that's why they birthed a lot of things. We, of almost all of our lifetime, we have these big visions. We have mm. big, these dreams to do for God. And nothing, not even 5% is fulfilled because we're trying to do it in our own strength, in our knowledge from the yep. Bible school, from the Bible college. Let's get in the spirit and intercede, Amen. especially in these uncertain times yeah. and challenging times. Yeah. And, and my experience, I would say this about praying in tongues, just uh, my experience has been this. There are times where you're going about your daily tasks and you, you know, you've got to focus on one thing or another. You can just pray in tongues. You do it under your breath. You do it silently, you know. In fact, the Bible says you can pray that way. Mm -hmm. Pray to you, speak to yourself and to yeah. God. Uh, and, and you can go about, you can do so many things. You can drive a car, you can wash dishes, you can sweep the floor, you can mow the lawn. And, I drove, and, and, I, I was speaking tongues, driving here 40, 48 minutes. Yeah, 50 praying minutes. in the Spirit. Imagine 50 minutes praying yeah. in tongues, man. And if you, <laughs> if you don't have to focus so much on maybe any activity, then uh, 
just simply praying will edify you. Exactly. It, it'll build you up. It'll refresh you. Uh, it'll edify your spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll build Charge yourself up on your most holy mm-hmm. faith. But then I, I think there's a more intense type of of uh, praying in tongues where you get your soul involved and you just focus in on yeah. on Lord send revival. Lord uh, uh, heal more of this body. More of yeah, this, more yeah. of an intercession. Mm-hmm. More of a powerful focus. You can't. You can't do that 24-7, no. but I believe there's times that uh, you can give yourself yeah. mm-hmm. to that kind of prayer. Yes. Uh, you, you relate yeah, with what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think these times where we pray in the Spirit ongoing prepares us for the unction yeah. where the Holy Ghost said, now I need you to concentrate and birth something. Yeah, and you yeah, will yeah that's know, what I'm talking about. You will know is the leading of the Spirit to just... To just focus on one area yeah. and just pray. You feel that intensity yeah. until yeah. he lifts, like Brother Hagin teaches. When he lifts, yeah. Yeah. then you f- the praise come yeah. and the thanksgiving, you feel like relieved. Yeah, and and w- what what it reminds me of is what Charles Finney experienced in times of prayer. He said, uh, he said I, I was indeed alarmed because I began, or it might have been Wesley, um, I'm trying to think uh, one of those guys that prayed a lot. Uh, Wesley, he had a re- great revival. And then Charles Finney uh, was uh, in a secular world. He was a, a lawyer. But, but uh, oh, I believe it was Finney. I because Finney, yeah. Because he said this. He said, as he'd pray, he said, he'd find himself. He says, I was indeed alarmed because I'd say to God, I said, Lord, you don't think we're not going to have revival, do you? Because you said in your word, you know, you're going to do this, and you're going to pour out your spirit, and you're going to add to the church, and you're going to multiply believers. And he would he would repeat back to God what he wanted to see happen, and very intense. And in fact, you see, uh, you see pictures of Charles Finney, and he's the picture of intensity. You know, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, and, and is he the one that when he will walk, go by the train station, and, and the the fear of God and the presence of God will fall upon everybody. Yeah. Well, it happened in a factory. I think it might have happened in a train one time. He went into a factory, yeah. and he looked at a, a young girl and one sat next to a fellow worker, and the one pointed at him, making fun of the revivals and making fun of Finney. And then he looked at her. She broke out in tears and uh, stopped production. The whole factory ended Shut up. Shut down, yeah getting yeah. shut down they had revival for three days <laughs> and i believe when jesus literally in my spirit i believe when jesus was addressing and said out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water i believe because he said he was talking about the holy spirit who had not been poor yet yeah in other words i believe he was talking about his people will flow in praying in the spirit and wow. interceding in the spirit, that's how we release the rivers yeah. of living water. Mm-hmm. Not just a song, but a flow mm. deep in the innermost yeah. being. When you pray in tongues, that intensity, you, you are we drawing. We connect to Ezekiel's river, in, that yeah, river of God spirit, that flows from And the more we heaven. pray, and the yeah. more we pray, mm. that river rises and rises. And imagine, like Pastor Dave teaches about uh, in his book, uh, you know, to come together corporately imagine having a corporate just a speaking in tongue service yeah. just we come together mm. just to to just to talk in tongues yeah you know me and, and steve hilton out there in elizabeth town we used to come elizabethville we would we just go away somewhere in um uh, camp hebron for a night just speaking tongues in the, in you know many years back just to speak in tongues and no night. need for an interpreter exactly you know, and I want to bring that out because uh, <laughs> because I, it's a it's a language, it's a prayer well, language. I just yeah. I just watched a video where a guy was trying to explain tongues, but my problem with some of these guys are trying to explain it. They've never experienced it, and they I wonder sometimes if they've even read the Bible about it because they try to uh, teach it and haven't done it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And <laughs> and uh, this one guy was saying how every time you speak in tongues, you need an interpreter. Uh, well. If I'm talking to you, yeah. to the congregation, we might need an interpreter. Yeah, but if I'm talking yeah. to God, yeah. Yeah. there's no need for an interpreter. Yeah. But based on but the that's, uh, I, I say sometimes that's the Baptist cry. Yeah. Where is the interpreter? And, and actually, it's the form of uh, saying, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, because exactly. they complicate people. You know, it's okay when you have an intel. There's not going to be an intel because nobody's teaching about it. Right. Nobody knows anything about it. Even the teacher who is teaching it, he's not. Sp he's not spoken in tongues once. Right. How are you going to teach us to to speak <laughs> yeah. in tongues and interpret, and you've never spoken in tongues? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I wanted to, I wanted to mention that because <laughs> it is scriptural. You can go through chapter fourteen. It's scriptural to edify yourself. It's scriptural to give thanks to God. It's scriptural to speak in tongues to God, uh, to speak mysteries to God. It is totally scriptural to pray in tongues with no interpretation And whatsoever. also it's scriptural to pray in tongues and you ask God to give you the interpretation yeah, yeah. personally sure, for I your own see. edification. There's no problem there either. That's I exactly can be right. the interpreter. Yeah, 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 let him that pray in tongues pray that he may he interpret. May interpret. Yeah. Yeah. So you say, uh, someone needs to be there to interpret. I'm there. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Ghost is one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as we talk about some of these things, just want to encourage you. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, don't <laughs> Take the status quo and say, well, you know, hardly anyone's... Just because hardly anyone's doing doesn't mean it shouldn't yeah. be done. Just Paul because said, someone, someone is, everybody's not going to heaven, are you going to go to hell because everybody's not yeah, going to heaven? that's exactly right. Paul said, I thank my God I speak in tongues more than you all. And that's where each one... If you want what Paul had and what the book of, book of Acts had, you want to spend some time praying in tongues, praying in the, in the Spirit. spirit yeah. Praise, Praise God. God. Uh, Pastor wow. Dave, if you have any closing comments, go ahead. And yeah, all I'm, all I'm saying, um, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, I think uh, we have not really utilized or yielded the use of the Holy yeah. Spirit like we ought to. And uh, Jesus himself, we know he's uh, the head of the church, our Savior. Uh, he never did anything without being filled with the Spirit first. And the apostles, they didn't do anything until they filled the Spirit. And uh, we cannot fulfill the Great Commission. We will not be able to fulfill the will of God in our generation without being filled with the Spirit. And those who brought the gospel to us, the gospel power, they were men and women of the Spirit. Yeah. And we must continue that tradition and uh, experience of being filled with the Spirit. When someone get born again, after hearing the gospel, I think the very first thing they need to be taught they, they, that it's not a separate thing, being born again, and immediately they need to know the importance of being baptized in the yeah. Holy Spirit. Amen. Because uh, that's the only way we can have a, a, a church full of power and authority to be able to take over the kingdom of darkness and establish the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And let me just add one thing to that. When you say we need to be taught the Holy Ghost. That doesn't mean we need a six-week series. No. We just need to be told it's available. To be instructed. Then, yeah, and then have hands laid exactly. on it and receive it immediately. Exactly. Then you can learn more about what you got yeah. after you get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So head knowledge will kill everything sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get them yeah. before they start thinking about anything. It, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Amen. Because it is real. It's the real thing. It, exactly. It's the real thing. Pastor Dave. My words are, it has begun. It, it has, has begun. begun. It has begun. We receive Amen. that in Jesus' name. It Amen. Well, with that said, praise <laughs> God. Thanks for joining us tonight. Catch us on YouTube. We'll have it up next week sometime. It's on my Facebook channel, Reach the World, Gary Bailey, Reach the World. So God bless you. Uh, join us again, and uh, uh, we'll be... Uh, We'll just call you blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. And it has Amen. begun. It has Amen. begun. It is all other than gold, yeah, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honey.